This presentation was brought to you by Ingenico. The purpose of today's video is to give you an idea of how the TSYS application works, including running transactions, settling the batch, etc. Please note that your transaction flow may be slightly different than what you see here, depending on what you have set up in your terminal profile. Also note that our terminal here is set up with an internal pin pad. Installing an external pin pad will change your transaction flow slightly. Let's start by talking about how to use a keypad. On the first row from left to right is a red cancel key. This is used to abort a transaction to take you back to the idle prompt. In addition, while in the admin menu, the red cancel key can be used to take you up one level. The next key is a yellow backspace key, followed by the green enter key. On the next row, the F button is a function key that takes you to the functions menu and also the alpha key when entering alphanumeric characters. There's the zero button and then the punctuation button. The punctuation key is used for special characters and to access the admin menu. The next three rows hold the numbers and letters when entering alphanumeric characters. The last four buttons are arrows and dashes. The first dash is used to page up when scrolling through a menu. The down arrow is used to scroll down one item, while the up arrow is used to scroll up one item. The final dash is used to page down. To access the main menu, hit enter from the home screen. The menu prompts are as follows, one for sale, two for return, three for void, four for force, five for tip adjustment, six for balance inquiry, seven for settlement, and eight for other. Pressing eight will allow you to get to the transaction adjust menu, authorization only, and reprint. Select cancel to go back to the main menu. Setting up your terminal for download and initialization is easy. Start by pressing the function button at the home screen. Enter your administrator password. Select zero for Telium Manager, three for initialization, one for parameters, and then scroll down and select TMS and hit enter. From here, you'll be able to set up your configuration for dial or IP download. The easiest way to run a credit sale is to start by simply swiping your card. Press 1 for credit. Now enter the sale amount. You'll be asked for the last four digits of the card. Transaction approved. To run a debit transaction while using the internal pin pad on the terminal, start by swiping the debit card. Select 1 for debit. Now enter the sale amount. You'll be prompted to pass the terminal to the customer. Once the customer sees this, you select enter. Press yes to confirm the total, yes to add a tip, and enter the tip amount. Press yes or no for cash back and enter the cash back amount. You'll now see the total and can accept if the total is correct. The customer can then enter the PIN. You'll be prompted to pass the terminal back to the merchant, where the merchant will press enter. The transaction will connect. Your debit has been approved. To run an EMV or smart card transaction, start by selecting the enter key. Select one for sale, one for credit, and enter the sale amount. Now pass the terminal to the customer. The customer will then be prompted to enter the card. So, enter the card. Customer that can then select the language, choosing English here. The card is verified. The customer can then confirm the amount total. Enter the tip and select the accept for the total. The terminal can then be passed back to the merchant. 
We will then select enter. The transaction is approved. To run a contactless card transaction, start by selecting Enter from the home screen. Select one for sale, one for credit, and enter the sale amount. The terminal can then be passed to the customer, who will then select Enter and tap the card. Enter a tip. and accept a total. The terminal will then be passed back to the merchant who will select enter and the transaction is approved. To run a printer auth only transaction, select enter from the home screen. Scroll down and select 8 for other. Select 2 for auth only, 1 for amount auth, and enter the amount. The terminal can then be passed to the customer, where the customer would swipe the card. The terminal is then passed back to the merchant, who selects enter and enters the last four digits of the card number. The transaction is approved. To run a void, start by selecting Enter from the home screen. Select 3 for void and No on pre-auth. There are several ways to look up a transaction. We're going to select 4 for invoice number. Enter the invoice number. Once you find the transaction, press Select, Confirm Void, Yes. Your void has been approved. To run a force or post auth transaction, select enter from the home screen. Now select four for force. One for credit and enter the sale amount. You'll be prompted to pass the terminal to the customer. The customer will then select enter. Now the customer can swipe his or her card. Once this is done, the customer will be prompted to pass the terminal to the merchant. The merchant will then enter the last four digits of the card number. You will be prompted then for an approval code. Once this is entered and captured, the transaction will approve. To add clerk IDs and names, start by selecting the punctuation key. You'll be taken to the admin menu. Select 1 for clerk menu. 1 again for add ID. Enter a clerk ID. For clerk name, you'll be using the letters located on each number. We will enter Bob. B is located on the 2 key, select 2, and then hit the function key until B is displayed on the terminal. For the O, select 6, function, function again, and one more time. And for the second B, on number 2, select function, function. When you're finished, select enter and the clerk is added. To add another clerk, simply hit yes or if you're done, like we are, select no. To check the batch totals, select the punctuation key. we will be taken to the admin menu. Select two for batch menu and one for batch totals. Here you'll see the sales, returns, and totals for the day. To settle the batch, select Enter from the home screen, scroll down, and select 7 for settlement. Select Yes to close the batch.
the terminal connected, and the batch was settled. This concludes our video. Thank you for choosing Ingenico.